fractions on a number line. We have looked at fractions as regions of a fraction bar. This one is showing three of five equal parts, or three fifths. We can also think about fractions as points between whole numbers on the number line. So with three fifths, we divide the number line between zero and one into five equal parts. Three fifths is a third point along the line. Now can you imagine where three quarters would be on this number line? To work it out, we use the denominator to decide how many equal parts to divide the line into. So in this case, four equal parts. Then we can count along to indicate three quarters. What about three eighths? This time, we divide the line into eight equal parts, and three eighths is the third point along. You can also see where our quarters are. So two eighths is the same as one quarter, four eighths is the same as two quarters, and six eighths is the same as three quarters. So the denominator shows how many equal parts between each whole number, and the numerator represents the number of parts, so shows the value of the fraction. Here is a tricky one. Can you imagine where 7 fifths would be on a number line? We can count along. 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, 5 fifths is our whole number 1, 6 fifths is 1 and 1 fifth, 7 fifths is 1 and 2 fifths, 8 fifths is 1 and 3 fifths, 9 fifths is 1 and 4 fifths, and 10 fifths is our whole number 2. So 7 fifths on a number line is 1 and 2 fifths. Understanding both the numerator and the denominator is important for understanding the value of the fraction. The denominator shows how many parts make each whole, and the numerator shows how many parts in this fraction. Being able to plot fractions on the number line is important for understanding the value of different fractions.